to another episode of the Hard Hitter Podcast. Today, we are doing another NBA episode, the top 25 NBA players of all time. I'm going to let you know what we all did. We all gave our top 25 players, and I took them and averaged them out to see what our average list is, and we'll go over that. Let's meet the guests. So, we'll start it off with Frank the Tank. What's up? Hi, how you doing? We also have Michael the Psycho. Bonjour. Bonjour. And we also have Mr. Greatest. Well, alert, Frank the King is right number one. And Big Al, producer Alex in the building. Draymond needs to be uh, about number 20, 21. And, of course, yours truly, the Skinny Matumbo. Alrighty, let's get into it with number 25. Number 25 was actually a tie between two players. I have James Harden and Moses Malone tied at 25. Moses? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Who put James Harden? Mr. Greatest. This is the greatest. We both put James Harden. He put, him at, he put Harden at twenty. I had CP3 there. CP3 just. I had, I had Harden at twenty-five. Okay, Harden I'll, 20. I'll, th- I'll throw in. I'll throw in some. I didn't have mentions. Harden in there. It I, just missed it. Stockton or see, It just missed it. Then it was CP3, Stockton, Kawhi, Allen Iverson. I think CP3 should have it over him because he's been playing longer, more stats. But you know, probably when Harden's career is done. Higher, but okay. right now I think it should have been CP3. Moses Malone and Harden at 25. Yeah, you're gonna write that down. Ah, oh, shit. It hasn't wrote now. Just put a slash. Wait, who was uh, Harden? They were, t- they were both at 25. Both at 25. Oh, okay. You don't want to do like a tie? No, because they're both 25, not 20. There's a 24. <laughs> Slow day at the office. <laughs> yeah. Slow day at the office. Okay. Number 24 was a pretty consensus pick across the board that he was right around. We have Elgin Not for me. Baylor. Elgin okay. Baylor. Wow. Was, that's oh, what, he, yeah, he was around 23. I think everybody had him 20. I can't type. Yeah, I had him at 23, as Joey Mike cuts out of him at 23. But I had Isaiah Thomas at 24. But all you have him at 24? Everybody had him at least 24 or 23. Damn, I had any of these players in my top 25. (laughs) Who was your your 25 and 24? His 25 was AI and his... Why? Who spelled letter O? Go back to the other one, Alex. Alrighty. At number 23, we have Julius Irving, Dr. J. I don't That's know, just... looking at that, it, it seems a little low, but no, I don't know. That just seems a little low for Julius Irving. So far, they've all been... In the... it's, it's not nothing crazy, nothing's crazy. That is exactly Frank's bottom we'll three. What we'll look at oh, as we go is like, okay, is this player better? Like, would we say Julius Irving is better than Elgin Baylor? Yeah, I think Julius Irving, as we go on, you know, maybe he's a little high, should be a little higher, but we'll. We're we'll, not basing we'll it off it of We're basing it off like skill. But and I'm saying players. as we look we're on. We're basing it off of skill. I'm fucking putting LeBron first. The fuck? What I'm saying is like. But what do those two have to go off? How? What makes Julius Irving better than Elgin Baylor? Julius Irving was like the best player of his like little era. Like obviously, Bird and Magic came in, but like for a short stint, you know, he was the best player coming out of the ABA. I think that that deserves a little recognition. But a freaking windmill dunk, legendary. Oh. We'll move Great. on. Or cradle dunk, sorry. That's what I meant. We'll move on to number 22. At number 22, we have 
Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade. I, had, I don't even have D Wade on my list. I had, I, I had them at 20 as well. I didn't have them. You put them on a list? Yeah. I feel like. Wait, That's a little I wild. Had a, I had him high. I had 16. Yeah, Mr. Ace did have him high. But he, but I think that's a good world. spot for him. Yeah. Dwayne Wade, when he was freaking, like, in his prime, holy crap. He was he was good. He was so we'll good. Act like Dwayne Wade spelled incorrectly? I just... It's fine. What did I spell? Yeah. I spell it wrong. There's three e ways w y a n e. Yeah. A n e. Wait. There's three ways to spell Dwayne Wade. Yeah, that's how you spell it. Okay. Okay. Daiwan Wade. Daiwan. <laughs> okay. This next one is interesting. I think. There could be an argument for Dwayne Wade. These these two guys could be on like the same level. I don't know. Next one is Scotty Pippen. Scotty's better than D Wade. All time. Y'all had Scotty at twenty one. I had Scotty at sixteen. I had Scotty put him on the list. Recent Damn. Been there since you you're watching. Honorable mentions. You know what, man? I just started watching that documentary. He's Scotty Pippen's second, the greatest role player of all time. Everything. I had to give him his respect. Yeah, he's the greatest like role player of all time. Call him a role player as well. Let's call him a number well, two, greatest number two yeah. of all time. All right, but he he was uh, he was like Joe Harris is a role player. player. <laughs> I'm talking about like he <laughs> did everything. Just, like, let score. Yeah, well, yeah, obviously yes. Okay, okay. Number twenty, we have the Admiral David Robinson. Uh, that's a little higher than I had him. I had him at 22. I had him at, 15. I had him at 20. Fuck. Yeah, bro, he was dominant, bro. I mean, he, he was wasn't at 23, but... Yeah, yeah, he was He was really good. Who had him at 15? Had a long period of time. I had, I had him really high because I was a force. Frank kind of shot that I'm average okay with up. That. I'm okay with that, that, to be honest. He just skewed it up. The only reason I had him higher than, like, the players below him is because that man... Was his team? He was the best player yeah. on his team. Yep. That's the only reason. Yeah, he was. He owned. He was. Yeah. Well, okay. We'll move on to number. We are nineteen. Alrighty, number nineteen is Carl Malone. Carl Malone. That's where Carl, I, had I, had him. I had him. I had him there. I put him a little bit higher. That's just exactly where I had him. He owns a lot of the. Yeah. I didn't. I even put him on the list. But I think that's a fair thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Carl Malone was definitely dominant when when he was. Yes. Alrighty. Yes. Next up, number eighteen, we have the Chuckster Charles. Or Charles. <laughs> I would like everybody to know why Tank the 18. Someone known as Frank Livia did not have him on the list. Damn, bro. You have Charles Barkley. I had him at 18. Below Harden. I had him at 19. I had him at 18. Who had Harden at 16? Mr. Greatest. But Mr. Greatest had Barkley above him. Oh, okay, okay. I had Harden at 20. Yeah, he had and had Barkley at nineteen. I said my list would be controversial because I didn't put him on there. You fucking, how do you not have Charles <laughs> Barkley on there? Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> so disrespectful. Fucking idiot. Fucking what? Now look, we're gonna give this next player, and Charles Barkley will be better than fucking like probably the next five. Yeah. Uh, maybe not the next maybe five, but I think at least dirt. at least the next guy. I'm pretty sure I know who the next guy is because yeah, it's dirt. Who do you think it is? You want to take a guess? Dirk. No, Dirk, Dirk. Jerry Dirk's West. Coming up, though. Jerry West is next at number Wait, sixteen. I have, I have Jerry He's West. better than Jerry West sorry, and Dirk. I'm sorry, is Charles sorry, Barkley Charles a logo? logo? No, no. Jerry. <laughs> Charles I Barkley could be Jerry West at twenty. Yeah, and you had Charles yeah. Barkley off the list. Charles Barkley could be twenty six. You never know. Not to verse how much. You're twenty six. I've been J.R. Smith. You broke, bitch. <laughs> he could have been D. Rose at number one. 
<laughs> That's actually what he maybe, had for maybe, his list. Maybe D Rose is my number one. <laughs> That's actually what happened. Yeah, you let the 69 as I asked for some reason. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's a weirdo. Alrighty, number sixteen. Y'all hinted to it, Dirk. Dirk. I had a Dirk. Charles had Dirk at Nah, I think Dirk's better than Charles. Evan, seventeen. No. I had him at fifteen. Charles Barkley was up. Help a brother out here. Dirk. Just, just Dirk. Beat LeBron Dirk. James. VKI. V. It's a v. W. I think it's a V, right? Oh. Dirk might have been on the first. Like non-super team to beat LeBron. I'm about to let this real quick. Dude, they had JJ Barea. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> exactly. You just proved my point. Thanks. I'm gonna guess this one's Kevin Garnett. Oh my God, he's a psychic. Kevin Garnett at number fifteen. Let's go. I personally think Dirk is the second best power forwards. I would put above them. I'm going to guess you know. the next is... We're not going to talk about that? Right. Okay. What? Not I think... Well, I think it's good to look at... You think Charles Dirk Barkley, is better Dirk than Kevin Garnett? Garnett? I think yeah, those I think two are the Dirk best power forwards of all time. It's probably KG, so, Barkley, than Dirk for me. But... Hmm? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're missing, missing a big name, bro. <laughs> Tim Duncan. <laughs> He's the best guy. You're missing Tim Duncan. <laughs> Okay, oh, Timmy? Tim Duncan's the best, obviously. <laughs> I think it's Tim. Oh, so Dirk. out of those three. Oh, okay. out of those three. You said top three. You said top three. I said those top three power fours right here. What would you rank them? I would <laughs> exactly. Kevin Look Garnett. at your wording. Okay. Yeah, it's I'm taking Kevin Garnett up. over Dirk. Yeah. Yeah, that's why he's like tire, uh, you fuck. Alrighty, next up. At number fourteen, Oscar Robertson. Yeah, Oscar Durant. Robertson. Oscar, yeah. Yeah. Oscar Robertson is up. Oh, is Curry gonna get top ten? Curry, Curry. Oscar. So I had Oscar, had Oscar Curry, Curry. Yeah, is Oscar? Yeah, three people had him at fourteen. So oh, is Oscar three. automatically? He's better than Steph. Can we all agree? Or sorry, Steph is better than him. That's what I meant. Yes. Yeah. At this point in time. Okay. And next up, we we're just chanting his name. He's not top ten yet. But he is number 13. Hey, Steph. I had Steph at 13. I'm That's Curry. I'd be guessing these things. Right? Steph. Three people Whoa. had Steph at 13. Look at Curry, man. That is yeah. about... Michael, okay, you had him the highest cool. at 11. You had yeah. him, <sighs> him highest at 11. Everybody else had him 13 or 12. So, yeah. yeah. Curry. He'll, he'll, I think he'll get to the Wait, top by the end of his career. If he'll Kevin get Durant higher than Steph Curry... Oh, uh, yeah. 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 What the I fuck? Mean, I feel like That's Steph mean. should be higher, bro. No. Steph changed basketball. No. Kevin Durant is the second best yeah. scorer in the league. Fuck off. Kevin Durant might be the best scorer, just Ever. like skill wise, of all time. The only way to stop Kitty the whole Dupree gets hurt. People want to be built like that's like the ultimate build seven foot shooter who can dribble the <laughs> And guess who's Man. right up next after Steph Curry at number 12? Kevin. Durant. Durantula. Oh my god, y'all had him at 12. I put him at 8. Yeah, you did. Jeez, you not yet. Really high. Yo, you're yeah, missing some little, names there. Oh. Durant? I, Joey, can you send me Frank's 10. fucking list, bro? I don't I send you my better list. Than, you think he's better than... I feel like there's like a solid... Bird. There's like a you think he's better nine. than Bill Russell? You think he's better than Hakeem? You think he's better than Bird? Probably Russell. Yeah, better still wise. Hold on, to be better, no, to be fair, bro, not Russell all was playing with get five foot tall white guys who didn't okay. have a three point. Well, he's obviously a better player, player but play that's not what we're talking about. But okay, but okay. If Katie probably be, Durant, might be one. Katie and LeBron, play, one and two right there. Kevin Durant when Bill Russell was playing Kevin Durant's job. No shit, game. Frank. That's a terrible right. argument. That's why Kevin Durant's better. Legacy. Well, put, LeBron LeBron into this. Put, Le 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 put LeBron James. Eleven first, chips then. has to count for something, bro. Eight in a row. Their thing is we're not ranking it off their skill. Yeah, we're ranking it off their yeah, all their greatness. Yeah, their greatness. He's he he's mean not, he won his rings off Bird, of going to the greatest team of all time. Him. Yet, yet, he will be. I don't think uh, Kevin Durant's legacy though is I think tainted maybe he I think he can maybe, maybe, I think he well, I think technique. he can maybe pass Hakeem. I see it would be hard for him to pass Duncan. I think he'd be hard for Bird and Russell. 
technically he didn't go to the Nets when they were good because they were fucking. He's on the two best teams of all time. He just went to the. He playoffs. only went to the Nets because he got Jared Kyrie to go. was on that team. What do you mean? Yeah, Kyrie Sellers on the net. But y'all are acting like the Nets were in the finals for four years. Okay, the Warriors. No. Yeah, I understand that. He went to. No, the we're Nets not acting the... like that. We're not arguing that. Oh my god, That's he hasn't. No, Michael said he went to two of the best teams. Okay, they weren't. He's the on best two team. of the best teams of all time. Now right? they're the best team. After yeah, Tina's there. legacy. Yeah. That ain't his fault that people want to go play with him. No one want to play with him for a reason. Bitch, he wants LeBron to play with him. No one wants him. to play with LeBron. Yeah. Mark Gasol. Okay, let's move on from that. We'll move on to number 11. Number 11, we have Akeem, the dream, Elijah one. I think that's a good spot yeah. for Akeem. If not for Jordan, he might be higher, to be honest with you, because he probably would have won a lot of championships. <laughs> Well, yeah, he literally uh, won the two. I know he won. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's you can say that a lot of, that's a lot of people. Like if Charles he didn't Barkley, exist, Carl you never know. Malone. I'm not that far in the documentary yet. Can you stop? Thank you. Spoiler. Yeah, oh. fucking <laughs> Hakeem. <laughs> the two champions. Hakeem, Berkeley, and Malone probably have like a couple. I don't, I don't, I don't like that argument. Patrick Ewing might have one. I don't like the argument saying that if MJ didn't exist, a lot of players would have done well. I mean, there's still competition. Like Hakeem. Uh, who else we got? We got Charles Barkley. I know. Carl you can at least get one more, bro. David Robinson. I don't know what the hell just happened. You don't have to highlight him, bro. <laughs> John okay. Stockton. Move on to the top 10. At number 10, we have Tim Duncan. Tim, Tim Duncan. I have him I, a lot higher to be honest. I had Tim at 10. I had him at 12. I had him at 11. I had him at 6. I had him at 5. I think Tim Duncan's the most over or overrated, underrated player. Yeah, that's why he I was so hey, dominant. You're saying that makes him overrated now. No. I think he's, he's very underrated. By, like, I mean, MVP's he was yeah, so like good for so long. And like, that Spurs team was like just dominant. Already. And he won his whole career. Obviously, he had a good team, but whole career. Okay, number nine, we have Larry Legend, Larry Bird. Larry Bird at number nine. Chris, An <laughs> Chris Anderson is in top ten. Nice. <laughs> I don't Larry think Bird. you can argue Larry Bird yeah, or Tim Duncan out of there. No, no way. I don't think, yeah. They both deserve top ten at least. Alrighty. Number eight, we have... Mr. Eleven Rings himself, Bill Russell. Bill Russell. Too low, too high. Would you like to get something off your chest, Frank? Yeah, Moke, you had him. Moke, Moke, you had him at four. Jay. I did that for the sake of the rings. And Mr. 11. Greatest, you had him at five. Yeah, obviously it's the rings. Okay, so if we had him at four and five, who put him at like sixteen? That put him Hold at on, eight. If we want to talk about oh, rings, then let's talk about Robert Horry. I have him at seven. Rings. I, I have him, him at nine. I had him. I had him at ten. Oh Jesus! That's I had him at seven. that low. Yeah. yeah. Who'd you have higher than Bill Russell? If we were talking Just about the top greatness and like all that, put Shaq and Will higher. Yeah, him. but I was going off skill. Like okay, if you were talking get skill. LeBron should be your number one. Well. I don't, I don't know. Jordan got LeBron's it. gonna be his number one. What do you mean? It's not. It's not. Oh, it's not. It's he not. converted. If we're talking skill, it's Jordan. Greatness, no, Jordan. It's not. It's not skill, it's Jordan. Yeah. It's That's the thing. It's not. Skill probably is Jordan. Skill is athleticism. Is athleticism is LeBron. Athleticism and That's fair. body is LeBron. That's fair. Yeah. Skill is more of like. Well, skill like should be KD. Okay, then it should be KD. Should be your number. Is that KD better? Number one. That should be in at that right, point. Come on, Smith. Come on now. Okay. Yeah, I should go like fucking KD, number MJ, Kirk. seven. We have Shit. Wilt Chamberlain. I had, Wilt, I had Wilt at seven. I had Wilt at nine. Who had the highest? Uh, Mr. Gray's had him at six, so nothing crazy for Will. I think we all, that's pretty consensus. Seven is a good spot for him. Michael, where did you have Will? Eight. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was all around seven, so it's okay. At 
number six, maybe the most dominant player of all time, Shaquille O'Neal. Really? Shaq, that is. Had Kobe yeah. at six. You're expecting Shaq to be high? Hey, Kobe I had Shaq, Kobe's, I had Shaq Kobe's at seven. Hard. Shaq at ten. Yeah. I'm surprised yeah, Shaq Kobe's got hard. all the way up. I had Kobe higher I than had Shaq. Shaq at four. You did have Shaq at four. So why does Shaq go than Kobe for you? Because everybody wants to say that Shaq was the reason Kobe won those championships. Kobe's got five. Yeah, mm-hmm. weren't three of them with Shaq? All right. Yeah, but all right. Shaq, himself. Shaq did win all MVP. three finals MVPs when they were together. Well, how the fuck Kobe's someone's going to stop Shaq in the day of pain? Is, I think Kobe's so right. If, yeah. if we want to say Shaq most dominant player and all that stuff, He's I get the most that. dominant I player of all time. Higher, yeah. I thought, so I put him higher at four. Yeah, well, I'm talking just greatness. Kobe's, Kobe's greatness. Kobe's higher. greatness. Kobe's is, greatness, yes. Okay, we'll say Kobe's outshines him, and it's not even close. But we have... There's a, there's a reason why Shaq had a problem, because he was getting outshined by Kobe. He didn't like yes. that. Yes, obviously. Okay, number five. We were just talking about him. Kobe the Bean Bryant. Rest in peace. Number five. Rest in peace. I, th- I thought y'all had Kobe a lot higher. I had him at number four. I had him at number four. I had four. him at seven. Okay, see, I had Shaq at four, Kobe I at six. Four. Kobe at six. You, I don't want to say who I had at five, because he's still... That's what I said yet. J.R. Smith. Smith. I'm looking at it. Who did he have at five? Well, he's next up. Number four, Magic Johnson. Magic Magic. Irvin Johnson. Magic Bronson. No. So Magic, the only person who had Magic at three was Mr. Greatest. Mr. Greatest, why do you think he's better than the guy we're about to talk about? Kareem? Yeah. I mean, they're both on the same thing. Yeah. I mean, Kareem didn't win anything on the Lakers until Magic got there. Yeah, that's fair. But he did win on the Bucks. This was with Oscar. Yeah. With Oscar, Mr. Triple Double. By himself, he didn't win jack shit until Magic got there. It's fair. fair Damn, point. is the story now Kareem? Point guard ring. Bro, you guys should <laughs> see what the Lakers did. Drop the video for Kareem. Kareem only wins. With- the Lakers stole Kareem so easily. On the Bucks. Yeah, he could have went to the Knicks. Already. God damn. At number three, <laughs> we were just talking about him. We were just talking about him. Kareem Abdul Jabbar. That's not his real name. Oh, Get his real name. Number three is Kareem. That's where I had him. I'm guessing everybody had him at name. three. Everybody had him yeah. at three, but Mr. Go over. So I mean, I have both like. Hey, yeah, they're pretty even. I'd say they're pretty even. Lou Alcindor. Why the guy? At Lou Alcindor. At number two. The consensus number two. Frank say it. Oh, I wanted Frank to say it. J.R. Smith. J.R. Smith. So J.R. Smith, you know, he's known for his big shots. You know, his clutch. Alex, why do you got MJ at two? What are you doing? Why does Alex always try to be funny and it's just not fun? Yeah, not that. You're talking about J.R. hitting big shots. Shut up. Amy Dude, Schumer humor. What do you mean? There's tape on it. And then we got MJ. Any anybody want to try? If this I could put, try what? Putting LeBron try. over MJ. So I like, you. Try. I don't know, I don't know bro. One ring against, against the Nets. No, no, no. Might just no, no. do it. Yeah. We were talking about that. If LeBron wins this year, no, no, the go. Yes. I'm about to yeah, say yes. Yeah, but he. Does have a no. hold on, hold on, hold on. OP team too, the... but he has. Oh, no. They called the West. If LeBron wins, but it's not like, you know how like when uh I'm trying to think of someone who's won in recent time where they got like carry. Like if LeBron like went, like he's dropping like forty a game or something like that. He's not dropping he forty a game. Is he the <laughs> he's not gonna do that. But yeah, he's. I think he 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 yeah, No, my, so. no, I'm the perfect Wait, perfect counterpoint. How many rings is that five? I think yeah. he's, then they're equal. It's probably okay. equal then. Frank, you want to hear my counterpoint to that? Let me hear your counterpoint. I want to hear this. J.J. Barea. <laughs> yeah, he did get locked up by that one. Clips! Clips! Put him in Dwayne Wade for that one. Put J.J. Barea at number zero. <laughs> he needs to do more. Number zero, J.J. Barea. Uh, yeah, I will say, oh, I don't think MJ it. has ever performed evil, like, <laughs> Close to that bad, especially in the finals. That was. Yeah, I gotta go pizza. 
But this is the that, thing. It's like, one. The problem with LeBron and the GOAT debate is, yeah, he beats his team. That's like he's beating like three teams in one. But he's lost so many finals. It's like it's, it's hard it's like, to compare. Yeah, but he's been there. Okay. Well, like, 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 I don't like, think you'll ever right. pass. Right. Okay, hold on. Jordan's, so, like, Jordan's like, legend is just like it's 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 too legendary to be. It's gonna be impossible unless somebody wins ten straight or something. I'm not saying Jordan didn't play a good team because obviously you're always gonna play a good team in the finals. Outside of the uh, Mavs team, LeBron's played some fucking teams. Like, okay, well you gotta look. He played well. The Ma Jordan when he played, it, just didn't play his best competition in the finals. No, 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 he played, he played the hardest competition in. LeBron had cakewalks to the finals. Jordan had Jordan cakewalks had in the finals. In the finals. But yeah. those weren't okay. Not even cakewalks. Not even cakewalks, no. Compared to the no. people. LeBron, LeBron had cakewalks. <laughs> LeBron, LeBron had cakewalks. LeBron did have cakewalks. Let's chill out. He plays, he, plays, he plays a young KD, a young Westbrook, and Harden, who doesn't even have a beard or whatever. Like, what if, what if no, like think about it. One of LeBron's biggest, like, competitors in the East was Paul George... Fucking, uh, who else was on that team? Fucking Monta Roy Ellis Hibbert. was he on that team? Roy Hibbert, uh, fucking, uh, what's his face? Get through the East. Get through the East. Yeah, yeah. Whatever happened in the finals happened. <laughs> Said he couldn't do it in the East. Remember when, uh, when they were playing the Celtics, Jason Tatum's rookie year? Yeah, that was the year Kyrie went out, Gordon Hayward was out. They were supposed to be like, it was supposed to be LeBron versus the Celtics, but everybody went out, but those rookies yeah. almost knocked him off. I watched a video on that. No, okay, but what's crazy he sold the video. That, that Cavs team was still without him, bottom three team. Don't care what anybody has to say. That team was terrible. That team shouldn't have been in the finals. But of course, LeBron gets him there, does whatever. But like, it's because the East is so bad. He played rookie. He played. He played rookie. Fucking yeah, they almost lost to the Pacers. Remember that? Oh, yeah, no, no, they, almost lost, they almost lost to the Pacers. They almost. I, I wouldn't say almost lost to the Raptors, but it was. It was, every game was close. Yeah. It was competitive, yeah. Every game was competitive. Then they play the Celtics, and that was like down to the wire. Then they go to the finals and get dismantled. But it's like, don't, okay, I'm not going to say LeBron didn't have good teams because obviously he's had the D Wade team, Anthony Davis now, and then he had D Wade on the Cavs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Love. The Cavs, that, that doesn't even count. <laughs> but, that, but like that Cavs team, Alex thinks he's really that fun. Cavs team is a bottom three team in the league. I don't know how he gets to the finals with that team. Like, he had to average what was like 40, 10, and 10 every game for the whole fucking playoffs. That must have been her carry that team. And then, and then something to go along, like, to help LeBron is that, uh, you know, MJ couldn't go nowhere without Mr. Scotty. What do you mean they just stayed well, on the Well, he was running into the same team. He wasn't even that year. good at the start of the when he first got drafted. Yeah, first, he got hurt. It was like his second the, season. Those first three championships, Scotty wasn't even like. Like, he was okay, but he wasn't, like, the second best player in the league. Like, people be acting like. And you're acting like Jordan didn't play against Magic Johnson and Larry Bird <laughs> to start his career. <laughs> or freaking Hakeem and I said Jordan fucking... played good teams. He played, fuck. How many of these people did LeBron play on this list? Like <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> that's hey, man. ridiculous. Hey, he played against Kobe and Shaq. Hey, man. I saw that boy LeBron yeah, posting a will. One. Okay, so he played Magic, Kobe, Shaq, Bird. David Robinson. I don't know if he ever played Duncan. Kevin Garnetti. Mark Wayne. Mm -hmm. Third. Three, four, five, and he played like six, more than half the list. Chuck. Yeah. Carl Malone. David Robinson. And he won. And he won every like <laughs> he retired. Roy, 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 Roy. Like with her and it's against not, nine. Not to mention, it was an honorable mention. Stockton yeah. was an honorable mention. <laughs> Allen Iverson. Yeah, yeah. Let's. Well, he played uh, everybody. Yeah. One more I don't chip. Know I, if think LeBron's ever be, got it. I don't know if they'll ever be. Look, an if era you're comparing the numbers, the 90s competitive. That it was. Yeah. It was really yeah. competitive, but they Jordan won no, every but, year. That's that's how no, good but, he was. This ring for LeBron, if he wants, it's pretty much like two rings. Like it's one, but it's two because you beat the fucking Nets. Yeah, unless, but then like, you subtract one. Yeah, unless no, you don't face like the you, Nets. It's, it's, like some it's like some catastrophic injuries, but it's it's hard because LeBron's lost so many times. I'm not gonna Jordan lie, never bro. Lost. Here's the thing. Yes, LeBron has lost so many times, but the first time he shouldn't have been in the finals. That team was terrible. 
The second time, motherfucker just played. Like, I don't want to hear time, it. It's just like the record. Cats. Lost to JJ Barea. Like, okay, yeah. The third time, Kawhi Leonard stepped up. That team just was like that team was just oh, ridiculous. Like we're not losing. Goes to the finals, loses the Warriors because Kevin Love got hurt and Kyrie got hurt. So he's like, okay, gotta do it myself. Beats the Warriors, and then plays them again when they get KD, and that shouldn't have happened at all. At yeah, all. I don't. But these are all just like bullshit excuses. But that's not like an excuse, though, he he made it to the finals. His team. I mean, okay, it's, he okay. made it. His team should yeah. have been, been there though. Okay, so you're telling me if. You take Jordan off the Bulls, that team makes it every time. Probably. No, That's it's the saying. same way. The Cavs. That team is yeah. bottom you can't line. say probably I mean, when. We you can't say probably when Jordan left and they had thirty wins and didn't make shit. Wins would have been a they were a bottom team. The Cavs team. Thirty wins would have been amazing because they were seeing ten probably without him. That team was terrible. They're running around. With yeah. running around with terrible with now. They're running around with Jose Calderon as their starting point guard and Darren Williams backing him up. Those guys were terrible in 2018 or whatever. Well, LeBron built that team. Yeah, yeah that motherfucker <laughs> wanted them. <laughs> he destroyed the Cavs. Yeah, yeah, Darren Williams over here. Oh, the Cavs destroyed the Cavs. LeBron like, stupidly just wanted all the old old like, heads who were used to it. Twenty million dollar contract. What? In the finals was disgusting. He's. Ass. LeBron wanted him. He wanted Jr. too. <laughs> hey, Jr. Got two rings. What's your point? <laughs> what is so yeah. Laker legend Jr. Smith like right that? You guys no, could add any no, player bro. To the list. Just stop. Just stop. Wait. Cavs legend could, Iman Shumpert. Was you could fucking... add anybody to the list of twenty six. Who would it be? I'll tell you who I want. Chris, I want Iguodala. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let me put Jarrett Smith there. No. Probably CP3 or Isaiah Thomas. I guess Hor- hey, Masvidal. Huh? <laughs> I mean, come on. This, man. But. Don't ever talk to me again, Michael. Okay. Sweet. Let's end it off. Um, Frank. Hit him with a hat throw. Oh, no! I can. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? What happened? Nothing, bro. Yeah, Inside the joke. Yeah, you have to be there, you know. So, uh, Frank, um, tell Sorry. us that Jordan's a goat. I mean, after watching the documentary, it seemed like he really needed Scottie Pippen. Alrighty. Um. <laughs> I don't even want to end it now. We need somebody else to say something. <laughs> My friend Frank here has gone to the doctor for being mentally challenged, so don't just excuse his opinions. Okay, thank you, Michael. All righty, we'll end it off on that note. Let us know what we had wrong, what we had right, what would you change, and check out check out the Twitter at the Hard Hitter Pod. You know, Mike, and watch that until Mike, Mike that video. Hey, that shit's fire. Check it out, and we will catch you next time. See you.